Paradise. New them. We'll see how this one uh, plays out as we go right back to Small Mammoth. I mean, I feel like this is easily the stage of choice down here. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I again, I'm, I feel like I'm going to be looking mostly at this here vector. This is not a character you get to see too often at all. Um, and I, I do think the last time, I'm pretty sure I pointed this out last time that uh, we were watching in Australia Top 8 uh, here as well, that, you know, the vector was out. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. How does this character play? Um, it is still kind of escaping me on how the, how this character fares better than other Lance uh, characters. But, you know, you made it this far, so you must be doing something right. Yeah, I feel like vector players, or all three of them, are just kind of like a different breed. Like, they play Vector because they want to play Vector. Right. And something in there just gels with them. Now, one thing that Goddess did tweet out earlier today, she is, I believe, going to fall here. Yeah, I can't quite get back. Is in the first set of top 32, Amaze was doing like 780 damage, 818 damage, 803 damage compared to Goddess's 415, 350, 400. So hopefully since the first set of top 32, she stepped that up a little bit. We see going even here with the red team. So it's definitely uh, not quite that big damage difference between these two teammates, but I'm really looking forward to seeing some more amaze. Is he gonna get this orange KO? I believe he is. Shadow is looking for it, does get the save there. They have had to go way out there to get it though, uh, but still great teamwork right there from the red team. I think this should be another, yeah, he's not gonna be able to make that one back. Not from that angle, that was a really good uh, side air, I think that sent him out there like that. So, or uh, probably a down air actually, but regardless, good angle on it. Now they're kind of, ooh. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, dude. And you're getting cheeky now. <laughs> yeah, <Right>. come on. <laughs> All right. So it looks like this uh, Suri not going to be able to make that back. A lot of pressure, however, the teamwork. Oh, uh, Amaze. Oh, he, nice. oh, Amaze almost went into that ground pound. That was so close. All right now. Even with, what a save right there from Amaze. God is going way out there trying to get this ground pound cheese face. Now, and God is both fighting off the edge, but I think that's going nice to be stare. the What? Just oh, enough. Amaze just actually saved Goddess's life. The GC neutral light. These offstage options from Goddess are crazy. Yeah, I mean, but then you say, you know, we're, we're hoping to see some more damage here from uh, Goddess. I definitely think that she has put on the damage that we are expecting to see. Okay. Well, <laughs> a little burnout action. Okay. Man, shadow, shadow swinging. All right. Yeah, that's, man, okay, this is some of the finest Terra play, players play I've ever seen. And, and, that, and this is where you're, you're uh, saying, you know, the damage is definitely up. 512 to 620. He has 100 damage more, but they still equally put out some good, uh, you know, good measures. Obviously, this five vector uh, KOs, though, is going to say something different about it. But, you know, no one was uh, slacking on the damage there, and it just happened to be that vector was finding a lot of those last hits. So. Yeah, Goddess in a maze. Looking like a pretty good team so far, especially Amaze. I'm loving that. Did you notice that the Vector Lance skin that Amaze is using, it's just like Vector's face, but if you just like, if you took it a picture of it in Photoshop and like made it really short and then stretched it wide. Is it <laughs> watch, watch him pick it up. It's so goofy looking. I love oh, it. Oh, man. Vector, yeah, definitely. Uh, I, This character, like, I feel like it's the unorthodoxness of the character that is probably uh, allowing uh, Amaze to go so far with it. Because most people, like, no, who knows how to play against Vector Stage 1? You never see them. You, don't, <laughs> you know what I mean? So now you're just kind of like, all right, how am I getting anti-air by this? Well, that's just how his neutral stage works. And, and other people's anti-air is a little easier to do, but just the way that his looks, I feel like it kind of catches people off guard. That's a little charge right there, a little down stick action. Not going to uh, get anything going for it, though. But still. Even just aside from the signature usage, like, Amaze is really good at both weapons. Like, you saw yeah. the edge guard on the left side with the bow that then extended later on. There was that save from Shadow, but that extended on into the edge guard on the right side that did get the KO. So if this was a 1v1 situation, the amazing clean edge guards from Amaze, but Shadow was able to take out the stock. You saw the GC neutral signature coming yeah. out from Amaze there. Unfortunately, she couldn't use it to get over to the side while Shadow was there to take it out. Goddess yeah. is likely going to fall here. The recovery actually makes contact before Ooh. Shadow's able to throw anything out. Yo, Cheese Face actually gets down, but Amaze cleans it up. What a chaotic end to all of those first stocks. Yeah, man, just everybody dropping out there right there. It's like John Wick came through, uh, came through this building or something. So, uh-oh, 
Oh, that was a close one. That would have been so bad. Amazing when he got caught with the ground Ooh. pound. The gravity gets on neutral signature. Yeah, we tried that earlier, but it definitely got snuffed out because the uh, the ground pound was already on top of him, uh, on top of her. But now it seems as though uh, she's been able to get out of a, a few of these situations. Long lasting hitbox on that sig there, uh, going to uh, going to get the hit regardless. And now, yeah, they're just they're just the firing squad is out. The right? Azos squad is ready, ready to deliver the big payload of just signature after signature. The surface to air missiles that is that neutral signature on bow. Okay, there's gonna be the yep, kind of push them up, but not gonna be enough for the stock just yet. Cheese face still living, but amaze trying to put the pressure on to him. And meanwhile, here on the left side, you got goddess actually doing some work to oh, I thought she actually got the hit there, but no cheese face getting that uh, I think the unarmed fig right there, uh, to go ahead and take that stock. So now a little Ooh. bit of a lead that well, actually a big lead developing for the uh, for the red team. Now that I just noticed that amaze is down to her last stock. And to get that, oh, double? Maybe? Yeah, it's gonna be enough. Are able to secure it. You saw Goddess completely back up from that one. She would have the weapon toss there as an option if she needed it, but she clearly saw that she didn't. That led to the stock. Goddess and Amaze aren't too far behind, but Amaze is uh, definitely getting close to KO. And there it is. All right. Now this, I mean, this is still a comeback that is possible, but I mean, just would have been un would have been a little better if Amaze could have hit. Oh, oh never mind. That was so quick. There was like three hits in there when I said the comeback was possible, and then and then it was just gone. So, Goddess and Amaze not going to be able to uh, secure that second game there. Uh, still, great turnaround uh, for the red team, for sure, as that first game was fully into the blue team's favor, but it seems like they were able to uh, clean it up. So the side light Nair charging that signature up. Got it right with the middle puff. That kind of goes up the highest. Sent straight up above. Man, Cheese Face sent out 12 signatures. Hit 58% of them. Also, Shadow only sent out four, but still also 50% of them. So it's 50% or more from both members of the red team. That is incredible. That's what you want to see, especially as an Azoth player. If you're throwing out a lot, that's normal. But if you're throwing out a lot and hitting a lot, that's fantastic. For sure. So here we are into our third game. Somehow still have not swapped off of the stage. We've seen every game on this stage so far. Uh, it's coming to, like, I guess they love it. They love Small Mammoth Fortress and Down Under for sure. All right. Here we go. Damn, so just, many bows. Just, yeah, just all bow action right there in the middle. A large skirmish happening up here on the left side of the stage. Just everyone getting hit with pretty much every move that was thrown out right there. A lot of damage being put on, but who's going to take the first stock? Almost was about to be a maze off of her first stock, but still living just barely. Side air is all the way across the stage actually going to take. Okay. Oh, God, it's really went down for that one. That's the down air. Can she finish it up? She can. Cheese face went wide into the push-off column, hoping to find a move, a hit, anything that could give him a chase dodge so he could get back to the wall. Unfortunately, didn't find it. Goddess was maneuvering around everything. Cheese face hoping to take out a maze, swapping over the axe, maybe a little bit more KO potential. There's the mm. insig that's gonna take out. See if Shadow can clean this one up on the edge. Easy side air. Yeah, no, Goddess actually managed to get through that first uh, edge guard attempt by going a little higher up when the ground pound was coming. Therefore, she got hit up, but it didn't really get her out of pressure. So she got pushed right back into that situation uh, to get edge guarded again. Still, though, a little, a small lead, definitely for the uh, for the blue team, but nothing that can't get taken. Wow. Okay, there it is. That neutral thing, always catching people off guard, catching most likely, usually catching that jump out of the uh, out of the area. Just no, I'm right here with you. All right. Almost caught another one. Uh, There's the D-Light. Oh, went for the turnaround side air. Try to pivot that one. Catch Cheese Face going the other way. Hey, Cheese Face getting back on stage and find themselves a weapon as well. But still, man, amazing. Oh, nice side air. Oh, with yeah. Literally nice side like a jet. air. Just <laughs> literally like a jet, the way this is moving all the way around the stage. A lot of aerial movement here. Another double side air is going to go ahead and take the stock, and they are 1,000% winning this game, but I mean, how dominant does it look right now? They're, they have both their second stocks. They are still in danger, but they've already got uh, Cheese Face onto his last. Oh, uh, and he, well, I mean, they got uh, Cheese Face partner out there before he even got on his last. It's gonna be a double KO, but still a lot that Cheese Face has to do to win this. 
Goddess is able to get a weapon immediately. Amaze grabs a lance right after her. There's the neutral light. We haven't seen too much team combo potential yet. We saw one earlier where Amaze started it. Goddess was unarmed and flubbed the response. Maybe they just don't have a lance into unarmed team combo ready to go. Wow, that covers a lot of that area. It really does. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was a little bit worried on that one. <laughs> yeah, a little bait and switch action there, I guess. But yeah, the damage uh, definitely kind of lacking here. Uh, well, I couldn't even see it because it was under the thing, but I saw a 640 on one side. And then the fact that these guys uh, both have their, you know, two of their stocks at the end, I'd have to say that the damage from the other, oh, 262, there it is. It is definitely pretty lacking here on the side of Shadow. Going to have to step it up big time. As you can see, uh, Shadow swapping out off of the Azoth and onto the Macho Man, uh, a.k.a. the Olgrim. Hopefully this pays off as well as we get a Lance into the mix um, and then also an Axe, so... Well, he already had the axe, but yeah, just swapping off, off the um, off of the bow into the lance. See, this pays off. Now, keep in mind, in case y'all weren't watching the bracket at home earlier, Goddess and Amaze actually sent Shadowfish and Klim down. So uh, maybe Goddess and Amaze are just ready to take out people named Shadow here. Already took out Shadowfish and Klim. Now looking to take out Shadow and Cheeseface down in the loser side of the bracket. This is an elimination match. Of course, because we are on the loser side of the bracket. All right. See him definitely moving around, maneuvering quite well. But no, not, nothing going to gonna happen off that one. However, immediately picks that up with the recovery to boot as the finisher. And you can see there's actually a, a decent fight developing here off stage. Again, by Goddess and Cheeseface, who seem to have a vendetta against each other because they have been fighting so often off stage every time. Got Cheeseface running right back over there. That's going to be a juke from Goddess. Goddess should be able to take that. Oh, off the wall. That's enough. Nice. You know once that axe recovery came out, that 360-degree hitbox, Goddess really went for that one deep. Still able to get back. Amaze might be cleaning it up. On the left side, she is able to do it. <laughs> Look at Goddess. It's like Chief Face is off stage, so am I. Back there again. <laughs> Do it one more time. Chasing him down, Chief Face. No, no uh, uh, weapon in hand from Goddess. Just throwing the hands right now. And it's definitely working out. A lot, a lot of good hits right there. And, uh, you know, not obviously the strongest hits, but still. Oh, my God. Sent out of there super quickly with that neutral sig. Uh-oh. I was almost expecting that to be the down signature, dropping those bombs. GC and sig. Coming out from Amaze, not enough to get back. You saw Goddess going over there attempting the save, but I'm not sure there was any real possibility of grabbing that without really putting Goddess's stock in danger, especially because she's so healthy on her second stock. Yeah. I saw, I mean, like, it seemed as though that Goddess maybe wasn't expecting that uh, GC neutral sig because she was positioned where Amaze was kind of at, and then Amaze obviously pushed herself over and, uh, and too far away to get, like, uppercutted for the recovery, so an unfortunate little, little misplay right there, but obviously they still have a good lead as far as damage goes, and now the stock lead and Shadow, he's looking a little hurt out here. Oh my God, just <laughs> chases him down. He's ground pounding, but the ground pound of the Qatar is a little faster. Just go ahead and chase that one down and get the stock here. Goddess and Amaze definitely poised to take this game, and that'll close out the set 3-1. We'll see what Cheeseface has in store. The dodge is gone. Cheeseface has some time over on the wall, so it's certainly back up now. Just burn! Oh, you saw the bombs dropping from Amaze. And it quite reached down low enough. Gets through the gravity cancel side signature. You saw the neutral light into the recovery. Goddess was really wanting to go for that after you saw that dodge burn from Cheeseface. Okay, Cheeseface, what a really good recovery there. Avoided a lot, unfortunately, though. Still going to be all here on the wall. And, well, yeah, just getting shot up right there. Dropping the bombs on him. Good stuff to, uh, I mean, again, I, I, Vector's SIGs, they all seem kind of like unorthodox, but when they hit, they hit. So, I mean, that neutral SIG was getting a lot on that one. Uh, that down SIG dropping the bombs uh, kind of reminds me a lot of, like, you know, Isaiah SIGs, uh, but just now with three more. So, <laughs> good stuff uh, to Amazing God has taken that one and moving in to Losers Finals. Yeah, one thing we didn't see uh, too much successfully from Amaze was that neutral signature. She was using it quite a bit, definitely uh, off stage, like over on the left or over on the right. She would do it to recover back to the wall. A lot of the time she used it, she was just too far down, so I'm not really going to fault her for that. She was just going for whatever she could.